Hi Android folks, how are you doing? Kevin is back to bring you another ROM review. This time I have for you the Dark Paranoid Android ROM, the version 2.17. This is the latest version. So Paranoid Android is basically um, a hybrid ROM, so you can have phone mode or tablet mode on your devi device and change um, DPI for certain apps, for all apps basically. You can change for example the DPI for your Chrome browser. So you can have Chrome browser in either tablet mode or um, or phone mode, and that's really cool ROM. Love it. So guys, you are very experienced users, I guess, um, and um, maybe you're wondering what theme I use here. This is a CM10 AOKP or a CM9 theme. This is um, not important, but um, show you um, before we get to the whole settings of this ROM. So this is the Alpha Blue, the paid version, current, my current theme here. Yeah, it's really cool. You get these um, nice theme toggles here. Yeah, as you see, it's um, full tablet mode here. Yeah, not full tablet mode, but um, the interface is um, tablet mode. My apps here, for example, this Trebuchet launcher, which um, I'm using right now, is not in tablet mode. But I like it to have this um, status bar and navigation bar together in one place. So guys, let's get to the settings. Um, yeah, before I get to the settings, I have to say this ROM is really, really smooth. Really nice project butter. And yeah, I uh, really like the ROM. Just make it a little dim the brightness here a bit. So yeah, it's not... It's not so bright here, so you guys can see it. Yeah, that's cool. So guys, you have your um, um, settings here in tablet mode. So you guys have here, you don't have to go back when you, for example, go to sleep and then to rotation. You don't have to tap back as you would do on a usual device with CM10 in phone mode. Yeah, you have your uh, launcher settings here, Trebuchet launcher from Cyanogen mod. You guys are uh, familiar with that. Uh, you can change your yeah how many rows and and the grid size. You can you can mess with it and your yeah page indicator. Not not so much here. It's not a custom launcher, so yeah, it's not Nova. Uh, lock screen settings, uh, screen security. You can have face unlock here and and stuff. Yeah, usual stuff. And, yes, for example, when you change this here and you want to go to your system, you don't have to go back and just go to your system. On a phone, that would be not so easy. Um, on a phone uh, mode ROM. Yeah, you, um, yeah, lock screen, you have your um, delay screen lock. Yeah, five seconds. That's um, very, very useful when you read the document on your phone and the display. The the screen will turn off and you just press the button and you don't have to unlock it when you within this five seconds here. So you can mess with it. Um, yeah, vibrate option here in your lock screen. Not so much to do here. System settings are your usual CM10 system settings. You get your status bar settings. Show what? What would? Yeah, status bar. Um, center clock. Don't know what this will do because yeah, we are in tablet mode, so the clock is always here on the right. Get your transparency. Um, yeah, you can mess with it. Don't know what this will do actually when it makes the um, status bar transparent. That will be really cool. So um, system UI will restart when you press that. Let's see. Ah, that's really cool. Um, yeah, you can make your um, status bar here transparent. That's kind of cool. So when we go back to our settings here, I show you that you have also a kill all button here. Yeah, just press it and yeah, nice animation. Um, 
it's another animation um, on a phone you won't have this animation on a phone mode ROM I always get this wrong when I'm reviewing this here um, so let's get back to the system settings status bar no let's get to the toggles here enable toggles you can yeah you can um, mess with this enable toggles here which show up here in your notification tray notification bar you can um, change the stock toggle style from icon only to text only um, yeah I can only no, this won't work here uh, toggle layout I can layout I meant that so you can have your um, power widget here, you can um, change the order of these targets and the enable targets. I show you quick what targets um, you have here, bunch of targets. So let's get back to the system, settings, status bar. Um, yeah, auto height. Um, Battery state style of course, and um, you get the icon, the default icon. And percentage is always nice to have here. Yeah, status bar, let's um, get it to zero transparency. Our outside we have a nice storm here. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so um wallpaper, of course your power menu can have screenshot here. Yeah? Yeah, screenshot. And another option in these power menus here on um, Paranoid Android, you have expanded desktop. So when you play a game, just tap this before you start the game. For example, Modern Combat, I play this a lot. Yeah, when I have time and I get full screen when I tap this here. It's really cool to have it. Expanded desktop shortcut, when you don't need that, you can disable it here. Build prop mods actually, you have them here. Um, for example, 3G speed hack. GPU acceleration, this will use the uh, GPU instead of the CPU for controlling the UI. Transitions and stuff. Yeah. Oh, you can actually change your build number. <laughs> so you can type in some stuff here and show your friends. Um, yeah. Paranoid settings. So, guys, as I said before, you can change between phone and tablet or phablet. You get this whole UIs here. This phablet UI. You know it from the Nexus 7, the Asus. Um, this um, smaller notification bar here. Uh, right now I'm using the tablet UI mid. Um, this medium, medium size tablet mode. I think this will fit the best the screen size here. Tablet UI big is not so cool. You have the yeah it goes not very well. Stock UI, yeah, stock CM10 UI is this. Yeah and uh, you your apps you get a list of apps here. Um so as I said you can change for example the DPI or the size of yeah let's actually choose one here. Let's choose Chrome. So this is your size of these text uh, which are used in Chrome and you get the layout UI. 360 pixels is your um, stock UI of, of, of um, Chrome. 600 is tablet UI. So on top just hit apply. Yeah, okay, force close and um, launch the application directly from here. So as you see as you see you get your um <laughs> yeah actually this is app Market marketer downloaded um this theme from here. So you get your tablet UI Chrome um here. Very nice you have your tabs here. This is much cool a uh, lot um <laughs> this is of course this is um, better than the stock UI of Chrome when you have it in phone mode. Um, yeah, it's very useful to have these tabs here. Yeah, nice. 
Yeah, you see my favorites here. Let's get to Let's get to the ROM settings here. Again, so you can change also the size of texts and, and elements in your apps, actually. And uh, yeah, don't know what, what this actually does. I think it resizes something when you click here, force. Yeah, you can also um, enable large screen. Yeah, you can mess with this. Just um, uh, try it out, guys. Check it yourself and play with it and um, when you don't want to have these when you mess with it and you have um, some weird uh, layouts here just tap reset and it will go to your stock dpi and, and size got your user interface um, for example status bar size you can uh, change the height of um, of the status bar and this navigation bar yeah, you get your system apps in phone mode here, as you see. Workspace is in tablet mode, as we enabled it in Workspace. You can back up all these settings. And, uh, yeah, when you try another paranoid Android ROM, this is the dark version, there's also the original one. So, guys, you get um, inverted, for example, messaging applications, inverted G apps. Also, you get your inverted inverted um, Play Store yeah I don't find it yeah we are Play Store wait a second I just yeah so this is the inverted Play Store looks really cool yeah so this is basically the ROM um, I, sh I always like wallpapers, so I show you these wallpapers. This comes actually with the Paranoid papers here. Really cool ones. You get these from the server, so you don't have to actually store them on your phone. These whole um, wallpapers, they look really cool. So you get a bunch of cool wallpapers here. For example, this one is also very cool. The darkness that you can feel. Just set as wallpaper, it will download this um, wallpaper. And when you uh, um, choose another wallpaper, it will delete it. So these wallpapers, wallpapers don't actually um, use your um, storage on your phone. That looks really cool. This um, Dark Paranoid Android ROM, really nice ROM, really uh, smooth. Um, last but not least, um, i show you the performance settings. The processor, processor um, speeds you can mess with it, the CPU governor here of course, interactive. Um, yeah, your um, minimum CPU frequency you can set here and your maximum is 1.35 GHz, I enabled it. Don't know if you can actually use set CPU for going to higher um, frequencies, but guys check it out, play with the SROM a bit and you will get to know to these settings here. Um, yeah. Always hit set on boot. About phone, you can see this is Cyanogen, not based, of course. And the Paranoid Android version is 2.17. Build date was um, today, actually. Yeah, today is the 5th. 5th of uh, October. Yeah, 4.1.1. So, yeah, really cool ROM. Um, I won't show you the boot animation because this video gets too long. Just check it out yourself and have fun with your phone, guys. Have a great day. Please like this video here and subscribe up there. You can also hit me up on Facebook. Uh, the link is in the description and my Gmail is also there. So, guys, have fun and stay subscribed. Have, have a great day. Yeah, as I said. So, see you in my next video. Bye.